Hello all, welcome to today's session and I am Sushma D, your tutor from GFGC, Shira. So today we shall continue discussing a wonderful poem written by an Indian poetess Torudat entitled Lakshman. Before moving ahead, let us have a quick recap of the previous classes. In the previous classes, we discussed about the poet and about the poem and also we have discussed around 14 stanzas in the previous classes. Lakshman is written by an Indian poetess Torudat and her period is 1856 to 1877. She was the first Indian woman poet to write in English and is often referred as Keats of Indo-English literature. She wrote both in English and French and she was deeply interested and inspired by Hindu mythology and its legends, characters, gods and goddesses and this finds ample reflection in her works. About the poem. So Lakshman is a part of the collection Ancient Ballads and Legends of Hindustan. And what is the form of the poem? It is a ballad with eight lines in each stanza. And the poem comprises of total 22 stanzas wherein Toru describes an episode from Ramayana and deals with two of its main characters, Sita and Lakshman. So in this poem, Lakshman is a portrait of the ideal brother, a splendid picture of chivalry and self-control and Sita comes across not just as a mythological character, as the wife of Rama, but as a human being, a woman to be particular, prone to human emotions and human provocations. Again as a woman, Sita comes across not as a meek and submissive character, but as an authoritative and dominant person, the one who is aware of her rights and the one who is capable of battling for her rights and getting her demand accomplished. So the theme is actually derived from an ancient Sanskrit epic namely the Ramayana. And the context of the poem begins when Rama goes in the pursuit of golden deer which was the request of Sita in spite of the four warnings expressed by Lakshman after a long pursuit Rama fells the deer with an arrow while dying the deer cries out in Rama's voice for help hearing this cry Sita mistakes it for Rama's voice and this is where the poem begins. The poem is a dramatic dialogue and the first three stanzas depicts Sita 
who is so worried excited and upset all at once on hearing the voice of her husband rama calling out for help so overpowered by such fear she imagines rama beset with danger and thus she requests lakshman to listen to the that voice and go in order to rescue him but lakshman doesn't react to the pleadings of sita and thus sita goes on blaming lakshman for his continued silence and inaction she even cries by asking lakshman is it my brother that i see in the next five stanzas that is fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth stanza lakshman disapproves sita's doubts of her husband's might and he tries to convince sita and make her realize the prowess of rama in order to make her realize the prowess of rama she takes the name of wild animals like lion and bear and states that the lion and the bear bend before the royal look of rama and even he mentions about the sun staring eagle which is a wild bird so even that eagle just cannot stare or glance the angry look of rama and he even mentions about the poisonous animals like cobras and pythons who are reptiles even they also glide away in shame not only that he even mentions about the evil spirits namely rakshasas danavas demons and ghosts so these are all filled with terror at the very sight of rama and they try to hide in their remotest course thus he requests her to be herself bold great and wise by wiping out the duster tears he even speculates that the cry is raised by some trickful foe and all the more he was not willing to disobey his brother's command and thus in all these four stanzas sorry five stanzas lakshman tries to persuade sita and make her realize the prowess of rama and by doing so he just wanted to make her behave just like the wife of a brave man and along with it he was very for sure that no harm is going to befall on rama such a great confidence as a brother he has 
with Rama. And all the more, he even expresses his wish that he is not willing to disobey his brother's order. Moving to next six stanzas, that is 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th and 14th stanza. So in all these stanzas, Sita employs the weapons like taunts and scorns, mockery and sarcasm at random to mobilize Lakshman into action. Because Lakshman gives many reasons to stay back with Sita in order to protect her. But Sita is really worried about the safety of Rama and in order to mobilize Lakshman into action, she goes on scorning Lakshman like anything. She accuses him of desiring Rama's death so that he may win for himself his brother's wife and for his brother his kingdom. She even insults him with a final declaration. Learn this, whatever comes may come, but... I shall not survive my love and swears in the name of God that if fire can burn or water drown, I follow him. Thereupon, she asks Lakshman to choose the way either of truth with its everlasting crown or of falsehood, treachery and guilt. By offering such choice, she further says that she will not urge him any more as her path is clear and she is without fear. That is all we have studied in the previous class. Let us continue further. In the next Eight stanzas, that is 15th to 22nd stanza of the poem Lakshman. Finally, Lakshman decides to leave Sita alone and go to rescue Rama with a heavy heart. She said and proudly from him turned, Was this the gentle Sita? No. Flames from her eyes shot forth and burned. The tears therein had ceased to flow. Hear me, O queen, ere I depart. No longer can I bear thy words. They lacerate my innermost heart and torture me like poison swords. So in this particular stanza, Lakshman, though aghast at Sita's accusations, he, em he emerges as a loyal and devoted brother that he is. So unable to retort to any of Sita's accusations and hurt deeply by Sita's strong words, he is forced to break his principle to disobey Rama's orders and leave Sita alone. And thus, Lakshman looks at Sita 
and asks himself, Was this the gentle Sita? He answers negatively to himself and looks at Sita. Now, she did not look like a gentle Sita. Her eyes were burning in anger. It seemed that flames were coming out of them instead of tear. He says, now I depart, as no longer he can bear the words which tear the innermost core of his heart and torture him like poisoned sword. Have I deserved this at thine hand of lifelong loyalty and truth? Is this the maid? I understand thy feelings, Sita. And in sooth, I blame thee not. But thou mightest be less rash in judgment. Look, I go. Little I care what comes to me, wert thou but safe. God, Keep the soul. In this particular stanza, Lakshman poses a question that whether he deserves such treatment from her for his lifelong loyalty and truth. He is quite wise in his dealing with Sita as he does not blame her for her scolding. He even says that since he understands her feelings, he does not scold her. He speaks ironically that she should be less rash in her judgment. By stating this, he declares that he is leaving but before going, he seems to be less careful towards the dangers coming ahead and prays God for keeping her safe. Moving to next stanza. In going hence, I disregard the plainest orders of my chief, a deed for me, a soldier, hard and deeply painful. But thy grief and language, wild and wrong, alone no other course. Mine be the crime and mine alone. But oh, do thou think better of me from this time? Here with an arrow, lo, I trace a magic circle ere I leave. No evil thing within this space may come to harm thee or to grieve. Step not, for aught across the line, whatever thou mayest see or hear, so shalt thou valve the bad design of every enemy I fear. So in these two particular stanza, he takes pity on himself by disregarding the order of his respectable brother. He calls him his chief. He is deeply pained, but the grief and the wild language of Sita have compelled him to do so. Though he seems to be overwhelmed with a sense of crime, he requests Sita to think better of him from that time. He then traces a magic circle with an arrow known as Lakshman Rekha in which no evil thing could enter 
to harm her. He requests Sita to not to step across the circle whatever she sees or hears because any enemy can make her to cross that circle. Finally, he has decided to leave Sita alone and by taking all the crime on himself, he speaks in a soft way with Sita. I hope that you are all enjoying the poem Lakshman and you have understood the beauty and the essence of the poem. Enjoy every line of poetry. Thank you all.